Hello and Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nur Sofia Hana binti Imran and my other two group mates are Nur Huda binti Shidin and Fairuz Farhana binti Zaini. In this group, we are going to explain about application of differentiation in engineering. <laughs> In this slide, we have definition, the importance of differentiation, problem statements and solution, and finally, conclusion. So, what is differentiation? The differentiation is a process of finding the derivative or rate of change of a function in contrast to the abstract nature of theory. Why do we use differentiation? It is because we can determine the maximum and minimum values for particular functions uh, like cost, strength, amount of material used in building, profit or loss, or anything that can help us solve many types of real-world problems. Derivatives are met in many engineering and science problems, especially when modeling the behavior of moving objects. In this video presentation, there are two problem statements and its solution which regarding the application of differentiation in engineering. Problem statement 1. A rectangular storage area is constructed along the side of a tall building. A security fence is required along the remaining three sides of the area. What is the maximum area that can be enclosed within 800 meter of fencing? Solution 1. So first of all, we need to sketch out the storage area, which is the rectangle and the fence, and also label the height, I mean the width and the length as X and Y. So the formula for area is E equal to X times Y, which is uh, width times length. So the problem statement has already given us 800 meter. So we know that 800 meter is the perimeter for the three sides of fence, which is x plus y plus x. Therefore, we will get 2x plus y equal to 800. We will make the y as the subject. So y equal to 800 minus 2x. Therefore, the area is a equal to x times 800 minus 2x and we will get a equal to 800x minus 2x square. So to maximize the area, we need to find when dA over dx is equal to 0. So we need to differentiate the equation that we just get which is a equal to 800x minus 2x square. We differentiate 800x, we will get 800. We differentiate negative 2x square, we will get negative 4x. Therefore, dA over dx is equal to 800 minus 4x and the value for x is 200. Next, when x is equal to 200, we need to differentiate one more time to determine whether the uh, the value is maximum or minimum. So we differentiate 800, we will get 0. We differentiate negative 4x, we will get negative 4. Therefore, the second di differentiation is negative 4, which is less than 0. So it is a maximum value. Next, to get y, we need to substitute x with 200. So we use the first equation that we get, which is y equal to 800 minus 2x. 
So we sub the x in the equation, we will get y equal to 400. And the last one, when x is equal to 200 and y is equal to 400, we use the for, uh, area formula to get the area. So a equal to 200 times 400, we will get a equal to 80,000 meters square. Problem statement 2. A box with a square base has no top. If 64 centimeters square of material is used, what is the maximum possible volume for the box? The solution for statement 2 is the first thing is we have to know the surface area. So in this statement, we use the formula surface area equal to x square plus 4xy we know the surface area is 64 and we substitute it in the formula and it will be 64 equal to x square plus 4xy so after that we, we, we want to know the y and we will get y equal to 16 per x minus x per 4 for the second step we had to know the volume. The formula for volume is volume equal to x square y. We know the y that we search in the surface area. We substitute it in the formula. And we will get volume equal to 16x minus x cubed per 4. For the differentiation, we will use the dv my dv per dx equal to 16 minus 3x 3x square per 4 and we will get x equal to 4.62 cm and we substitute it in the surface area y that we, we get the first thing is and it will get y equal to 16 per 4.62 cm 62 minus 4.62 per 4 we will get y equal to 2.31 cm and the fourth step is is it a maximum value so we know that d square v per dx square equal to negative 3x per 2 the value that is shown is negative when x is positive Therefore, it is a maximum value. The dimension of the box is substitute the vol values into the V equal to X square Y. V equal to 4.62 multiplied with 4.62 multiplied with 2.31. We will get volume equal to 49.3 cm cube. So, this is the answer for the St uh, problem statement 2. So, the conclusion for this slide is the process of finding the maximum or minimum values is called optimization. The purpose of differentiation applied is to find the maximum possible volume for a box. So, in the end, by learning the topic of differentiation, we should find that we are increasingly able to communicate mathematical ideas and apply our knowledge and understanding to mathematics in everyday life, just like in engineering, in business profit, in science education, and so on, which shows differentiation is very useful. That's all for my group. I hope you will understand or gain more knowledge by watching this video. Thank you for your time and Assalamualaikum. <laughs>